I just came across a prefab home company that has not been mentioned on the channel, yet they've built over 6,000 homes. I think I better go tour a few of these things. For this video, I left home and headed east. How far east? Well, all the way, all the way east. I just arrived in Atlantic Canada, specifically New Brunswick. Not bad, right? Full disclosure, I don't fly clear across the country just to see any old home. Today, I'm gonna to show you something special. I'm heading over to Supreme Homes to check out their brand new this year, Nordic series. And if it's anything like the renderings, we're in for a real treat. Let's go. This is the Fjord, the first build out of the Nordic series here at Supreme Homes. The Fjord is a one bedroom, one bathroom prefab home that has a footprint of 680 square feet. With dimensions of 40 feet long by a whopping 17 feet wide, this is definitely not a typical build. What I think people are gonna like about this is the look. It's got the vertical wood siding, it's got the black trim and hardware, which just gives it that Nordic look that I think a lot of people are after. Another key feature that really makes this model pop on the outside is the roof. It's black metal and it's got a steep pitch. The Fjord is available in both one and two bedroom models. But before I get inside and have a look around, really get a good look at the exterior because I think this is a look that a lot of people are going for. And this is a way you can get it without having to import something all the way from Europe. You get the European look, but it's available in North America. If you like the outside of the Fjord, well, hold on to your britches because you haven't seen anything yet. We're going inside and I'm gonna show you an interior that's gonna slap the taste right up out your mouth. The way they have it set up, you enter and the first space that you see is the living room. They've got a little sitting area off to the side there and I thought it might just be handy to do a quick walkthrough so you can get a sense for the layout and then I'll go into more detail on each and every space in the home. So sliding glass door on the side, little peninsula to eat at there and then this is the bathroom. They got a walk-in shower, toilet, sink, vanity, everything you'd expect to see in a bathroom. There's a look at the entrance and then coming down here, they've got the galley kitchen with a ton of storage space and then at the end here is the bedroom. See what I'm talking about? This interior has it going on. It just does, simple as that. I guess I better back up the truck a little bit because there are likely people out there who haven't heard of Supreme. We got a lot to talk about here. So the Spark Notes version is they've been building for over 40 years. They build about one home per day or seven per week and they deliver to Ontario and everywhere east in Canada. Let's continue. The living room really is a perfect place to start because there is so much going on in this space. One of the key features is this fireplace. This is a real wood burning fireplace and these are real logs. This is not just for show. See that? You can actually throw these right into the fireplace, light them up, and it's going to burn. The other form of heat that they've got is electric, so you'll see the units scattered throughout the house. They've got one in the living room, maybe one in the bathroom, probably one in the bedroom, and the whole thing is electric or wood burning. Now, the windows. Check out this floor-to-ceiling window on the sidewall. You've got natural light coming in there. There's another window over here of the same size, and then they've got another picture window on this sidewall above a built-in bench that has storage underneath. Beside the front door, they've got even more storage in the form of a six-door cabinet. You might be sitting there thinking, well, isn't that silly? They don't have something tall enough that you could hang a jacket. If you're thinking that, it's a good thought, but it's not correct. So if you open it, it's actually got shelving on the inside. And yes, there would be enough room to hang a jacket in there. If I had a jacket, I would hang it up just to show you, but plenty of room to hang a jacket in that. And then above more storage for maybe outdoor gear, mittens, boots, anything you want to put in there, you could definitely do it. So storage solution by the front door that looks better than if you just put a closet with an opening door. I think this fits the space and looks really nice. Directly across from the main entrance, they've got this sliding glass door that would be direct access out to a deck or patio. So you're barbecuing, you come around from the kitchen with your goodies, head out and away you go. Behind me is access to the bathroom. Wait till you see it. I should mention also these are eight foot interior doors. So if you're wondering if I'm five feet tall, I'm not, I'm actually around six feet tall, but this is an eight foot door and that's why it looks so big. This bathroom has some great features and I'd love to talk about them. However, it's also got a frosted door. So I can't rightly get to anything else until we do the door test 
just in case I'm brushing my teeth and my truck ends up backing up right onto the window. So this is the test. I don't know what this is like. I haven't looked at it and I will only find out when I go to edit the video because by the time I see it, I will be out of New Brunswick. So we'll find out. Now, what I like about this is the walk-in shower. It really pops with this green tile and it's actually got a seat right here just in case I get tired and just wanna take five let the water hit me in the face. Another thing that I think looks pretty sharp in here is the gold hardware against the green tile. Just think that looks really smart. Now, they've also got behind the door a bunch of storage for towels. And actually, I just noticed this. They've got kind of a, a desk in here. I guess this is for laying out makeup and putting your face on in the morning would be my guess. Now, the vanity, again, has more of the gold hardware, which looks cool. Maybe that's called bronze. I don't know if it's gold or bronze. You tell me. And then they've got storage underneath, and this is something I don't see every day, a drawer underneath the sink. That's kind of nice. You can put your towels in there. The last feature that I want to talk about in this bathroom is actually on the ceiling in this fan, believe it or not. So the fan has Bluetooth connectivity and a speaker that you can connect to and play music if you're looking for a little motivation on the toilet or you're trying to get yourself fired up for the day in the shower. Those are both possibilities. One of the things that I thought of is if you have friends over and you're not feeling well, you can crank your favorite song and nobody's the wiser as to the war being fought behind closed doors. It's, it's a possibility, it could happen. One thing that's been noticeable throughout the entire home is the width. Being 17 feet wide opens it up throughout, but it's really noticeable in the kitchen. So this is a galley kitchen, but it doesn't feel cramped between this side and that side. There's a lot of room to move around and they've definitely got a lot of room for storage. So another cabinet here, there's a combination of doors and drawers. So the top cabinet is just a one level, the largest is a three level, and then we've got three drawers there at the bottom. Moving up towards the sink, another bank of drawers, and then we've got storage underneath the sink. If you're standing at the sink, you have a nice view out the window, and then we've got these over here where you can display your fanciest glasses or whatever you wanna display on that. Across from the sink, they've got the stove, and then back here, they've got the fridge, which actually has water in it. That's good to know if I get thirsty. Above the fridge, storage up there, cabinets on either side of the stove. That one's got three levels, that one's got three levels, and these I would probably need a ladder to get into. Anything you're going to be putting in there isn't something that's going to be used on a daily basis. I get it, the space is there, so why not put cabinets up there, but just don't put your favorite coffee cup up there or something you're using every day. The final space in the fjord is of course the bedroom, right at the back of the home. And there are a couple things of note in the space. So they've got this wood accent that runs behind the bed, pretty much eliminating any need for a headboard. What I like about it is they've actually got a light switch and plugins on each side of the bed so that you don't have to run an extension cord if you're trying to charge your phone. And this switch says right on it, works with my Levitan app so you can connect it to your phone, turn the lights on and off directly from your smartphone, which is kind of a cool feature. Now, something you don't see every day in a 680 square foot home is a walk-in closet, but that's something they've done in the fjord and it's right over to my left, your right. The dimensions of this bedroom are 10 foot four by 10 foot seven. And the reason you don't typically see a walk-in closet in a 40 foot home is because you don't typically see a 40 foot home that's 17 feet wide. The 17 feet wide is rare and I can't emphasize enough how it makes this home feel. It really opens it up throughout. I know I've said it before, probably won't have time to say it again in this video, but you never know, I might. So the walk-in closet has a frosted glass pocket door, which is kind of nice. And there's more space for clothes in here than I'd really know what to do with. So you got hangers there, hangers there, hangers there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six shelves. You know we're getting to the end of this tour and I can sense people getting their comments ready. Where's the washer dryer? Well, not so fast. Behind this curtain, they've got a stacking washer dryer as well as the hot water tank. So it's all neatly tucked away right in the walk-in closet. It's 
perfect spot for it, really. I'm assuming at this point in the video, a lot of people are wondering about pricing, and that's fair. However, I wanna make sure I've got the most accurate and up-to-date pricing, so I'm gonna post it in the description down below. It'll be there now. Just go look for it there. Well, there you have it. That is the Fjord, the first of the Nordic series from Supreme Homes. Hope you enjoyed the tour. That's all for me today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Just crank the music in here and cover up, for lack of a better word, your, your toilet farts. Nobody's the wiser as to the war that's being fought in the bathroom. <laughs> Stupid.